Earlier this week, three commissioners who will lead the International Commission of Inquiry into the 2020 regional and general elections were sworn in. They are retired Justice of Appeal of Turks and Caicos, Stanley John, former Chancellor of the Judiciary in Guyana, Carl Singh, and High Court Judge in Belize and former Acting Justice of Appeal in the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, Godfrey Smith. Justice John is the chair of the commission. Following their swearing-in, the terms of reference for the work of the Commission were published in the official Gazette. According to this document, the Commissioners shall inquire into the circumstances, events and procedures before, during and after the 2020 elections in Guyana. While the Commissioners have been asked to probe the elections generally, President Ali identified specific areas that warrant examination. The events surrounding the tabulation and public declaration of results in District 4 by the region's returning officer and other election officials are a matter of concern. The commissioners were also asked to investigate whether any attempts were made to obstruct, frustrate, subvert and prevent the counting, ascertainment and tabulation of votes polled and a declaration of the true results of the electoral district number 4. This district was particularly contentious during the March 2020 elections as the then returning officer for Region 4, Claremont Mingo, declared unverified results for the region. Additionally, specific focus shall be directed towards any attempts that may have been made to obstruct, frustrate, subvert and prevent a decision of the Ghana Elections Commission made on the 14th day of March 2020 to conduct a national recount of the votes polled. And finally, the commissioners have been asked to specifically examine the conduct of the chief elections officer, other election officers, and others. Upon the completion of their work over the seven months, the commissioners have also been tasked with making recommendations for the improvement of GCOM. In doing so, it is expected that GCOM should be better able to discharge its function in a matter which is impartial, fair, and compliant with the Constitution and relevant legislation. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Vishani Ragbir.